Hi. Um, as you know, my main thing is around buying and selling businesses. So particularly how to buy companies without using cash up front or without borrowing lots of money from financial institutions uh, to do it. And uh, obviously I help a great number of people uh, become, you know, get into the business of buying and selling companies and uh, my Harbour Club training program takes people through uh, that process but we publish tons of free content uh, on the topic as well across YouTube and Instagram and on our websites um, so uh, you know we're, we're really passionate about trying to help people on that uh, on that journey and I'm always a bit hesitant to kind of cross over into areas of sort of personal development and and that sort of area but uh, you know more often than not you need to be armed with the kind of basics of personal development those kind of very basic uh, uh, skills because um, you know it really helps set you up for uh, for success and you know I've talked before about accountability and how important I think accountability is in uh, in creating habits and achieving uh, goals and uh, and yet still I speak to quite a few people who are kind of hesitant about sort of goal setting they feel like it's a bit kind of woo woo or Tony Robbins or something like that but you know I've really noticed uh, that the people who don't set themselves you know clear goals and aspirations things that they're uh, setting out to achieve what tends to happen is that they get lost in kind of uh, you know um, politics and uh, are kind of creating their own soap opera within their life so they tend to get uh, I, I guess if you haven't got a, um, a passion or a vision or something that you're really focused on then all of that mess of thoughts and nonsense that's going on in your head um, starts to lead the way that you're behaving and the way that you're acting so you know they become these keyboard warriors on Twitter or on uh, various forums and things um, getting terribly upset about stuff that's happening thousands of miles away or terribly upset about um, you know some political thing or some uh, you know current uh, uh, piece of current affairs and uh, and they just let that dominate all of their all of their time or they get really obsessed with their own uh, little microcosm you know so um, you know well you've got some people that can't afford to eat and are being bombed every day you've got other people who are going absolutely apoplectic because their neighbor's tree dropped some leaves on their garden you know these people have absolutely nothing to worry about so they create things to worry about they create their own soap opera and I really just think it's the human brain trying to keep you uh, you know kind of motivated and passionate about something and if you've got nothing that you've self motivated yourself about or nothing that you've got really passionate about uh, you know uh, yourself um, then you start to go off on these sort of weird tangents and seemingly pointless things become incredibly important to you all of a sudden. So try not to get sucked into living in a soap opera. Try and think about the things that you're replying to on social media. Try and think about the things that are on your to-do list every day and are they taking you towards what you're trying to achieve? Um, and you know, even it's not so much social media, but even things like email and um, WhatsApp. So I do so much of my business on WhatsApp. You know, I guess between WhatsApp, email, and Zoom, they're kind of uh, uh, you know ninety percent of my business kind of operates um, uh, through those media. But you have to be really, really careful because both WhatsApp and email, to a great extent is somebody else's to-do list. So people ping you messages on WhatsApp when they want something, people send you emails when they want something. So it's important to kind of moderate how you use those mediums so that they're helping you achieve your goals and you're not just filling a to-do list every day with, you know, shit for other people basically so uh, um, somebody described email to me once as the to-do list that anybody can add in it you know it's a to-do list for you that anybody can add things to um, and that's a really good description of it and you've got to be very careful it doesn't become that for you so you know I've, I've got rid of email on my phone um, I try and check it not that often so um, I try and get a load of stuff done before I even touch my email I don't look at email at all at the weekends now um, and uh, yeah, I, like I say, I use WhatsApp, but again, I will go through WhatsApp and send all the messages that I want to send. And if it pops up, there's a message that's related to that, I'll, I'll deal with those. And then perhaps a bit later in the day when I've got a bit of uh, uh, spare headspace, I'll go through and reply to the other 
30 things that are in there that need uh, uh, need some kind of response. So, um, you know, you do need to mediate how you use social media and things like that. But, uh, but yeah, I think, you know, getting back to bare principles around goal setting, I think is a really important, uh, a really important thing to do because it gives you a, a purpose it gives you something to uh, focus on and I think if you don't have that thing to focus on you can sort of dangerously slip into creating your own soap opera creating your own drama so that there's something exciting happening uh, in your life so uh, uh, yeah try and avoid that if you can thank you